crack. This is great crack, isn't it? I wish I was out there listening to this. <laughs> two wee drunks, two wee drunks in the Belfast, two wee drunks in Belfast, and they're sitting in the cafe, the two of them, they're real full, and they're sitting in the cafe, they're reading the menu. Jim, <laughs> Jim's drunk. And they're reading the menu, and the waitress come over and she doesn't realise they're drunk. She says, Would you like to order? And the other person says, Is there any chance of a quickie? She lifted her hand, she slapped him across the face, and she marched off. And his friend, he gave him a dig, he said, I think it's pronounced quiche. <laughs> yeah. You'll never order quiche again in the same way, that's for sure. But talking about Belfast, talking about Belfast, is it, the, the, the two old boys, two, the, the, the older you get, the, the, the older old boys seem to get. I remember when people my age were old. Now only a youngster. <laughs> but these two, they, they, they would say, well, they would say they're old, but they were, they were in their 80s, the two of them. And they're in the bar all afternoon, the two of them having a few drinks, the two of them, you know. And you know, you know, you know when you're having a few drinks, you know, but the person who doesn't drink, you probably don't understand this, but you see when you're having a few drinks, you can talk with authority on anything. It's amazing how much we know, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, when you're drunk, you know so much. When you're sober, but you just don't know what happened. <laughs> That's where I went wrong, you know. When I was doing my exams in school, I should have been full. <laughs> if I'd have been full, I'd have been something, huh? But, <laughs> but the two drugs, the two boys, the two, two old boys, and, and they've had a good few drinks in there, and they're having a serious, a serious discussion. And then, and then the taxi pulls up, you know, to take them home. And the two boys get out the black taxi and the two them, and they're, they're that involved in their discussion. They're so involved. They hop into the taxi, the two of them sitting. And they didn't see a wee woman. She was about 89. She's sitting further back. They didn't see her at all. And the two boys, because they, they were that involved in the discussion. They were discussing, when you hear this, to them 86 years of age, they were discussing bungee jumping. <laughs> and one of the boys said to them, says, bungee jumping? What do you think of? What do you reckon? What do you reckon of this bungee jumping? And she said, I, I don't know. I don't know, Sammy. Why, why would you want your bungee to jump? You know? <laughs> Let him swing, you don't eat no let him swing. Not not your budgie, not your budgie what I is. Your bungee, bungee jumping, bungee, you know. You know the big long elastic rope and you know, and you jump off the big boing and a big boing and a boing, the bungee jump. Jeez, have you now, Sammy? Have you now I yeah, no, no, no bungee jumping? No, no. No, Sammy, no, but no, no. No, I said, no, Sammy, I don't think I'd have the balls for that now, no. <laughs> And the wee woman, she leaned over and she tapped him on the shoulder. She says, excuse me, man. She says, I know it's none of my business, but I think they tie it to your ankles. 